Mr. Nicholson? Keep running more people, huh? एक बार शायद धमकी दी थी। Not criminal. You just said he threatened him. No, he didn't. You said that. Yeah. Jesus. He raised his voice. अजीब सी बातें और और किसी को We're not helping, bro. Just be quiet. Thank you, statement. Jesus. Yeah, right. What I said, not what he said. मेरे बहुत से ब्रिटिश दोस्त भी हैं। Tell me their names right now. Oh man. Do I? Oh yeah. मैं उसके खिलाफ हूँ। Odoyer embodied British. भी अपने you too. Hate you. Okay. Doing your job. Right, he's protecting his country, right? So, but the other guy is fucking around in the other. Oh, the other country. Waterboarding, okay. I wonder how long they've been doing this. These torture scenes are. I'll ask you for the last time. Oh, just some random guy. Mm. And then they killed. He got a signature. Now they don't need him anymore. Boom. Wow. Mm. Stand up. Okay, we got enough evidence now. Morning. My name's John Hutchison. I'm your lawyer. I studied law after coming here. Mm. Law. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Against crime, correct? A law is a crime man. I need a lawyer. Well, we're gonna handle me regardless, so. If you want me to present your defense. I think he wants a defense. Yeah. He wants to know that he did it. Box, where's your pens? Oh. Not everyone has taste like you, sir. Uh -huh. mm. Good carpenter, good electrician. I I do clothes. I he was probably good at all the jobs she did. Yeah, of course. Hmm. Wow. So he even worked for him. Who was his chauffeur too? They probably that's why they let him in so easy in the place too, you know. They just search him and go in because they probably seen him a lot of times. They saw him with him, yeah. So that's one way to yeah, to avoid being searched more being suspicious, you know. Look, it's his driver. This was very well planned. Are the guys going hunting? Mm -hmm. Shooting? Thank you. So he could have killed him at any time. Yeah. But but he wanted to do it that day in particular, in front of those yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, I had Plus, to be... he wanted to kill the other whoever, you know? Yeah. But he wanted it to be public and mm -hmm. make a big... Well, shot a Robert with a shotgun. Shouldn't be happy he got him. <laughs> Should be a shame if he didn't. Mm. Working in the factory on the railway. Yes, sir. You forgot your lies, dude. And everyone called him his name, like um, this guy. He calls him salesman. Salesman. Rebellion and expected medal. God, what was coming? Uh, justifying his actions. Mm -hmm. Would you kill a man to save ten? If I. A thousand. Lacks. Man, he really, yeah, had so many opportunities. Yeah. Depended on the circumstances. Circumstance. Yes. Depends how you do it too. I mean, obviously, if your side's going to be good, but the other side's not. Mm -hmm. So it's always two sides to every. Is a deterrent. The mutiny was brewing. Hmm. There would have been another. But he killed kids, you know, and women. Yeah. Fear was the key. Obviously, he knows he did wrong. That's why he keeps bringing it up and trying to, what do you call Justify it? Justify uh, it, yeah. Force with brute force. 
They have a woman. Justify himself. So you say he's reminding him too, like women, children. You yeah. Know? There was quite a few. The work. Not like they went to the ER. Side orders. Wow. People afraid. Yeah. A lot of stuff like that. He stopped firing. That was the sign that it was good for them to go. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, right. Like, that's a sign? You're supposed to interpret that shit? Created fear. But it was sufficient. Hmm. That took a lot for him not to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. So you left the job. You just keep patting himself on the on the shoulder every few Every day, probably. The, um, the old guy. O'Dwyer or whatever. Just to bring you up to date on the news from Europe, if you just turned on your radios, Great Britain is now at war with Germany. There's evil everywhere, man. Evil people everywhere. Of course. On every side. Yeah. Once you finish your flipping job, idiot, I'll catch your Jesus. wages. They used to do that in the East and West Coast, I think, too. Especially in the West Coast. Mm. People used to shut their lights oh. or no lights after a certain hour. Well, that's when he raised his voice at the boss. Yeah, see, there was like a what is it called? Disagreement there between him and them. Basically, the English, I mean, they all left, whatever, whoever was there, but the Japanese took over. Okay, so. This guy's gonna wait. Yeah, that's why when he when he shot him, the the guy O'Dwyer or whatever, um, they were like, "Oh, he was so stubborn. He did Cheers. his own thing, you know." Hmm. Yes, I missed that. But well, he waited six years. Well, yeah, the war was still going on, right? Thirty. I mean, unless things changed between this, what year did he shoot? Then, hmm? what year did he shoot? Thirty-six. Uh, I don't know. I said it was six years later. Oh, no, 1940. Six years later was 1940. Yeah, we're still going. So, wake up. Leave him alone, man. It's a free drunk. Mm. <laughs> and even they want to get rid of free speech here in America. Mm. <laughs> Mother, mother. It's been the history of the world, man. Aapko lagta aap jeette ho. Koi nahi jeetta. Nobody. Yeah. Red wins. Hmm? Oh, yeah, bhaktiya. For, for the small folk, <laughs> there is no winners. It's speech. Always. Chino mat. Old man. No? The poor guy, he was sleeping. <laughs> Got a poem? Free speech. Hmm. Only the flower remains ignorant. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that makes up for waking him up. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is that all for you? Okay, so was a free speech? You ended up paying the guy to listen to you. <laughs> oh, man. Please uh, wait over there for five minutes. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's when they say that uh, we almost had him at the immigration, at the whatever. Like, oh. When we showed up, he was gone. Right. So they did recognize him. They flagged him or something. Yeah. One of his many trips. Mm. The passport office. Mm. 
Oh, that's where he saw that he was going to be speaking there. Yeah, see, 1940. Yeah. Oh, Dwyer. Oh, and Zetland. That was the other guy he was trying to kill, but didn't. So he had to do it that day, you know. He couldn't wait for the other people. That's an opportunity to get all three of them, or two of them. Yeah. Maybe it was three. I, I don't know. I didn't catch that. And he got flagged here. I say three because he shot one, two, and then he shot at another person. Yeah, yeah, so it's, but. it was three. He didn't want to wait, you know, from this point. He just wanted to do it. But see, he didn't tell anybody what he was going to do. He kept that to himself. Well, right? they told him he was going to wait anyway, so forget them. To meet the French Premier amid demands for a more aggressive military. One person can act alone, see? Now he. Oh, he just bought a gun from some other random guy on the street. The guy, didn't, he wouldn't know to look for him. Look, he got a job there. <laughs> well, just start mopping, you know, people won't know if you belong there or not. Right. Because so I know that they all, they searched them, but they didn't search the book. Yeah. Oh, that's where he cuts the, to be able to put it in the book, he, he cuts uh -huh. the pages. That must take a long time, right? Because you, you got to do a few pages at a time. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. You gotta make it wide enough so you can actually grab it and right. not rattle too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody seemed very surprised. That's why I was like, he didn't tell them, you know. Well, but I mean, the he, whole plan. he got the intel from before. In the meantime, he was also buying weapons and sending them back home. Right. From the, tried to buy them from the RA and just a lot of things he was doing during the six years. Okay. Oh, they're gonna show us again, okay. So we'll be able to see the other people he tried to shoot. Yeah. Four. Three, three. shots. Pikisal. Oh. Intazar Kiaman. Should have done a headshot, but hey, three shots is good enough, I guess. Mm. Does this guy even understand what he's saying? Huh? Does he understand what he's saying? Like he's supposed to, because he was born there, like he understands or what? The the lawyer? I don't know. Or is he supposed to be talking to him in English? I don't know. But what's the lawyer? What's the defense? There is no defense. And I don't think he wants to be. Yeah. But what sort of book is it? Is it seditious? No, it's in. He has the right to take an oath on the book of his choice. Mm. Proceed. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. I don't think I heard that before. It's responsible for the criminal act of murder. Proceed. Proceeding is a waste of time, just shoot me. State your name! Huh? Hmm. Do you plead guilty I plead or not? not guilty. Okay. Well, may I suggest we proceed with the sentencing? The defense has not spoken, your lordship. The murderer has spoken. Hmm. By the law of the he land. He has shot three people. Former. I don't think you're gonna get. Yes. Prosecuted in a criminal case. Yes. No. How many years? Okay. Oh, that's right. He yeah, was in prison. Yeah, beginning. Yeah. Both right and fighting for freedom is no crime. There is a complaint against you, but. Hmm. Have you possessed a weapon before the one you acquired to kill some? Why are you talking now? It's just be quiet. By the man who sold you an illegal firearm. Well, now it's it's all on record, so yeah. I guess that was his chance to say what he needs to, to protest. Yes, that is enough! It is time for you to leave my country! That is enough! Will you stop? Yeah, I guess now is the time to talk. Based on the crime committed by the... <laughs> okay. The press would not report on any statements. <laughs> <laughs> what else is new? I have reached my <laughs> verdict. Sure. Already. Used would be hanged till death. It's a sham trial anyway, I mean. Mm. Mm. I wonder if he got 
reporters did or not obeyed or not obeyed. The reporters, yeah. Probably not. Once it's written, what are they going to do, you know? Or they waited till after the year to report this to mm -hmm. Oh, he's not eating. No, he is eating. No, right? Doesn't seem like he is. Well, he sunk back the other one. I don't know about this one. Sir? Oh, is that oatmeal or something? I don't know. You need to stop this hunger strike. Hmm. Force feed him. Yeah, I guess they're gonna force feed him. Shit. The mm. uh, I don't understand why they what are they waiting for? To to hang him. For the right time, I guess, to do it. Oh oh. All the way to the stomach. Yeah. Oh my God. Like, is that terrible. chicken soup or something? Hmm. Oh my God. This guy's tough, man. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. I'd probably give him a sedative or something, put him to sleep. Mm -hmm. So he won't do it. Yeah. Oh, yes, are his memories to comfort him. Yeah. Dreaming. We should do it, Regi. Huh? You're in the front zone, dude? Come on. Okay. <laughs> Wonder what happened. Well, probably that crime had... Oh, maybe she died in the... She was one of the victims that died in the... You think that was that long ago, though? Because he looks, you know... Because if they're like in 1940, and that was 1919, oh, 19, so that's 20 19, years. That happened, you're right. You're right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They may have said when she came into the picture, but I, I don't remember what year that was. Uh, he brought him something that he might mm. want or whatever. Kill her. Manuelos? Never. Yeah, we call them meat pies. They have the same thing, but they have a name. I forgot. Well, the injustice, I guess. You probably saw it firsthand. Mm -hmm. People fighting for their independence right now against their own governments, you know. In different parts of the world. There's this is the event. Here. All right, they gotta tell us. See, they're fighting some crazy law that they pass, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Oh man. Barricade the entry. Hmm. Oh, maybe, oh, yeah. So it is the same time period. Like, he's, he looks... So how, how old is he? I thought he was... Probably younger. his 40s now. Yeah. So that's 30s. maybe... Maybe you're right about his... He's got a beer and stuff, but he's probably like 18 or something. Yeah. Right? But maybe she died here. That's, you know... Yeah, yeah. Mission Center. Cut all the civilian telephone lines until further notice. Oh, that's this guy. Yeah. That's the okay. Guy. Destroy tomorrow's editions. No more publication until further orders. A protest. Shit. It's going to be political, yes? Yes, sir. So it's an unlawful gas. Of course. General Reginald Dyer. Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir, Sir Michael O'Dwyer is on the line for you. Hmm. Thank you. So that's when he gives him the order. I guess. Yeah. So he wanted somebody that will obey his orders. Yeah. It is your job to get it back. I will need your permission to proclaim martial law, sir. Mm. General, you must act as you deem necessary. Cheesy! <laughs> you can give an order without giving an order. Right. But if the punishment is such that it creates a fear of punishment, well, sir, good night. The longest empire in the history, I guess, it's the British Empire. Yeah. They held their, you know, all over the world. Mm. 
I guess I read that somewhere. Yeah. Uh. Earrings. Hmm. Yeah, I think something happened to this girl. Yeah, most likely. That's that added well, she, to his or you she know, was wounded cause. and he couldn't take her she is martial law <laughs> the assembly of two people or more is illegal hmm. so it's gotta go <laughs> man there's a little animal flying around here Probably biting me as we speak. Passing out the ammunition to the guards, soldiers, whatever. Okay. That an Austin Martin? Mm. Sorry, but it's bothering me, this bug. Oh shit. She was there. I just saw her. Yeah. His girlfriend. They've had their warning. No meat. Uh. Mm. Shit. So this is the other guy he shot probably, right? I don't know. I don't know. Ah. See, like they were sitting down. Yeah. That's that. Well, they were. They were. They were peaceful, you know. I know, but. Fuckers, man. That's why he went there. There she is. Yeah. Oh my god. That was a massacre, you know. Yeah, it is a massacre. Yeah. Well, what, what did I say? Twenty thousand people. Yeah. No, twenty thousand protesters. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> Thousands wow. died, and then the injured too. That they ended up dying because they couldn't go anywhere. Mm. Fuck! Oh my God! It's a massacre, you know. Everybody. Yeah, totally. Jesus, man. There she is. Oh my God! That's what started started everything. Just a nice uh, young student in love. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we, we're, we're so used to seeing in movies, somebody gets shot and they die immediately. People don't die immediately. They right. fucking bleed out. It's painful. Yeah. Humans, man. Humans. Shit. They were peaceful and they were sitting down when yeah. they made gave that order when he gave that order. They weren't doing anything. I know history. Hmm. Why did they didn't even make the papers in England? And if they did, they don't care. Oh, they're rebels. Hmm. But you weren't even there when the firing started. Hmm. So it doesn't matter. It still happened. Sure, he was. Mm -hmm. Very late. So that saved him. The fact that he didn't Fuck. get there on time. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> Fuck. Or her name is Bali? Wow, she's See, still alive. Oh my god. Been suffering all day there. Shit. That's a long time to be agonizing. Yeah. Know? Asking for water. Never knew. So this was very personal. Probably too late. Yeah, I'm sure it's been like hours, you know, or who knows how long it's been. <coughs> no, I made no. What does she call her sister? Just a 
Maybe it was his sister. Her mom and Dermot? Because they said... But didn't he propose to her to get married? No, he said he was not going to get married. No, but, but I thought he proposed to her and she said no. Or she just said she's not getting married, period. Yeah, maybe. Now, I, I don't know. Tell us in the comments, guys. I thought they were, that was his girlfriend, but maybe it's his sister. But earlier they said that he had a brother. Did they say well, he had a sister, too? That's the guy that... Or maybe it was just a brother in, in uh, arms or something. You know, he's like yeah. his, his follower. Jeez, man. He didn't even get dressed, man. He just ran out of the house. To yeah. Get so that was probably his sister. Maybe just somebody he knows, you know, like they call it each other uncle. And, yeah, or, right. You know, just I, I couldn't see. It's kind of like. Yeah, this is this, this is his girlfriend. The other one. Okay. Yeah. Like I couldn't see her face earlier when he was giving her water. Hmm? And that's his brother. No, he's, he just said brother. The girl was like, he left oh. her on the other side. Like, just previously to coming here. Uh, Try to take her to the. Uh, or him, or whatever. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Like he's trying to save whoever's still yeah, alive, you know? Want to get more. But the curfew is still in effect. The what? The curfew. Yeah. So these well, guys are... That's the thing. They're going to shoot them on sight. Yeah. Oh, man. It's a lot of shooting. All the ammo. Or the shells and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he calls everyone brother, she brother. Yeah, uncle yeah, yeah. if they're older. I forgot about that. It's like a sign of respect. Or right, right, right. Oh, man. Uh, I think Sikhs don't cut their hair either. The right guys? They right. They use that. Yeah. Okay. Wow. He saved as many people as he could or tried to, you know? Yeah. Anybody made it here? Shit, that's like you have enough, dude. Let's go. Oh. Wow, this guy's mind is so strong, man. Like, yeah, determination, you know. Yep, the guy even took a job at the guy's. Yeah. Shining the guy's shoes and driving him around. Mm -hmm. Imagine how much strength it took not to kill him. Yeah, Swing maybe he, right he came time. close a couple of times, you know. Take care, take care, okay? Oh, shit. Gotta well, find the doctor now. And they cut the water supply too. Yeah, well, that's the worst part. <coughs> they have nothing, you know. Shit like this is happening now. Yeah, it happens. Peaceful protest. South America. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is what the government's doing. Yeah. Your own government. Yeah. For our sake. This is the shit that's happening in Venezuela. Yeah. As we speak. Right. Oh, man. Shit. Try to take the bullets yeah. out. Yeah. I need a doctor to come with me. <laughs> so he's bringing him to the hospital now instead of. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, because then at least they, they can get, you yeah. know, hopefully get some help there. Mm. Well, at least they have morphine. But yeah, that's something. But not everyone's coming to get because people are afraid of the curfew, you know? Right. But they're still holding on, yeah. so. Yeah, oh. I guess they didn't make it. Okay. Oh man. Uh, Thirty clean doesn't oh turn like a tourniquet. Yeah. Trying to stop the bleeding. Shit. At least she's doing trying to do something to stop the bleeding and yeah. then bring them over. Mm. The pain, man, that they must be feeling. Yeah. This guy hasn't stopped, man. It's reminding me of the Huxa uh, Ridge. Oh, yeah, right. It's like, just one more. Just one more. Yeah. This guy's barefoot, been barefoot the whole day. Yeah. Or maybe he's always barefoot, I don't know. Man, he must be exhausted, but he's yeah. just, he's gonna keep going, you know? Man. I don't think he's drinking any water either. So he definitely was there. Whoever showed up, they're looking for the relatives, you know, and that's it. Pick up their relatives and they go. They don't come back. Yeah. Shit. Superhuman, you know? Yeah. Oh. Oh, still there. Oh, Still man. alive. We have the strength now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ow! Ah. Oh, we have to strengthen his arm. Yeah. We strike him with the flight story. Right. <laughs> Instructed me with it. I think this kid's injured. But, no. Well, scarred for life, but not yeah. physically injured. Yeah, I don't think so because she, they probably protected her. She's so little. Yeah. Maybe, luckily, the bullets missed her, but yeah, she's gonna remember that, I'm sure. Another trip. Shit. Yeah. The guy planned that already, it was pre-imitated, pre you know, because he said, well, who's in charge? Well, let's put somebody else in charge. Someone that will obey me. Yeah. Mm. Casualties? Hmm. Don't know, sir. Hmm. Shit. Yeah, otherwise they'll kill them. But then you're dead, shit. Oh, lady. Yeah, they're gonna shoot them if they see them. <coughs> they probably shoot them, not even arrest them. Right, they're gonna shoot on sight. They had said that before. Yeah. Oh, man. They're gonna kill her. She's pregnant. Yeah, it's making too much noise, but... <laughs> Oh, man. 
how sad for her, for all of them. Yeah. Look at that, he keeps trying to more and more, shit. Oh, ah, shit. shit, man. To find a rope. <laughs> Tied it. Tied them in there. Yeah. I've been up all night. Haven't had any sleep. Oh. No. Oh. Too bad for Who him. are you? Your action has been approved, sir. Then we try Germans for saying is the we didn't to be kept on they were just saying we were I was just obeying orders you know they imprisoned them and killed them so what about this guys keep it on wow oh, still is it quiet out there what do you think well, that's what they wanted right to calm they make everyone Afraid. Mm. In obey. They just keep patting each other on the back. Mm. But dude, everyone has a reason for being evil. Shit. In their own minds. Yeah, he's got good mental health data. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, that was waste of youth. <laughs> yes. Open the door. <laughs> mm. People have was a revolutionary. Yeah, that's important. You know, not a crazy criminal or yeah, lone wolf, crazy person. He did what he could. He's still, still working. Going. He's still bringing wow. people in. Yeah, that guy's definitely a hero. Yeah. Oh. oh. Take him away. Hmm. It looks like olive oil or something. I don't know what they use to clean the, the wounds. Yeah. Or maybe it's medicine. I don't know. Chemical. Who knows? Alcohol. How are you? Hmm. Got a question. Does that mean come back? Meet my friend. Mm. He's made his peace with it. Yeah. That's that's what he wants, you know. That was wishful thinking on her part, but yeah, they're not gonna. That was part of the mission, I guess. The whole thing. No, they're not. Huh? They won't do it. No, of course not. But I think that was part of the mission for him to. You know. Oh, yeah, right. Like he's saying, I did it because I'm a revolutionary, you know. I, I think that was the idea. And revenge, I think that was part of it too. Mm -hmm. But more, everything else for the cause. Fight for independence. thinking what if yeah oh because she said it's time to go and he didn't go I don't know whatever it is he's remembering oh man it's more like a stolen youth you know what I mean yeah yeah now people don't have the luxury of being young hmm 
Do you have a note or something there? A picture of himself or his friend? Shit. Yeah, with all the bodies. I don't want to waste time, man. Not a boy anymore. That was, yeah, quite a moment. It was oh, amazing. It was more? Is that the real, the real person? So, 1899 to 1940. They had defied Section 144. That's your excuse. Fired with the machine guns? I think. Probably, yes. And in that case, the casualties would have been much higher. Yes. Oh, so good. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much, asshole. A small amount of firing is a criminal act. I was going to punish them. Mm. Jesus. 2.6 million Indians lost their lives fighting for the British during World War One and Two. Well, that's both of them, yeah. That's fighting the Germans or Japanese or... Four both. million Indians died of starvation during the man-made Bengal famine caused by Winston Churchill's wartime policies. Four million. Wow. Hmm. <sighs> well, hunger. More than a hundred years later, India is yet to receive an official apology from the British government for the Jallianwala Ba massacre. Jallianwala. I don't know how to say that. I'm still waiting for an apology. Wow. Yeah. Udham Singh's mortal remains were exhumed and repatriated to India in 1974. Several secret documents related to Udam Singh remain undisclosed till date. Psh, fuck. Mm. Still trying to cover shit up? The aftershock of the tragedy can still be felt in the streets of Amritsar. Amritsar. Wow. That was very enlightening and uh, good this movie. Won't it was very well made. I mean, the story thing was right back and forth, and then they show you the aftermath. You know. Yeah. Even after we saw the killing and everything else, I mean, we we heard it, we read it, but now we actually got to see it, and then listen to these fuckers. Yeah, try uh, to justify it. Justify the reactions. Right. Yeah, makes you angry. Yeah, of course. But yeah, it's like you know. Human history of the world, you know, it's always somebody wants what somebody else doesn't, and yeah. What do we read? There's only two countries that don't have an independent state, yeah, which is United Kingdom and Denmark. Mm -hmm. Every other c country has, yeah. They've had to fight for independence and all that, yeah. They were colonized and then they colonized themselves, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. kind of like the history repeats itself, you know. People just want what other people have. Right. For one reason or another, there's always, uh, there's atrocities on both sides, you know, people, evil, we get right. more evil, you know, and never it fucking ends. What else you gotta say? That's it. Not much more to say. All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna keep it short, I guess. Uh, we got nothing else to say. Thanks for recommending this movie. And uh, so long. Later. <laughs>